Hey guys, Anfinum here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today, I'm going to be doing part 2 of the Animal Bikes mod that I ended up reviewing a few weeks ago. And if you guys want to see the first part of the mod, which is going to cover a lot more of the Animal Bikes that I'm not going to get to in this video, because naturally it was already done in part 1, be sure to check the link in the description below, as well as the form thread, which is going to be in the description below, which is going to cover a lot of things that I'm not going to cover in this video. Uh, more or less just the crafting recipes, because um, they do take quite a while to craft however i will tell you the crafting recipes as i go along here so anyways um before i get started though there is one animal bike that i ended up missing in part one and even though it was weird because i held on to it for like the entire intro of the video but what i ended up missing was sheep and um if i could right click there we go did you really just spawn the exact color that i need really <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, the, the attributes of the sheep is that they run slightly faster than cows. They have a 20% chance to spawn a baby sheep, which I'm not sure if that happens while they're idle or if it happens um, while you're riding them. But as well, they can be uh, dyed different colors as well. And I think, yeah, that's going to give it a different color. So uh, you can do that as many times as you want. And then as well, if I right click on it here, it ri does ride pretty fast. So, yeah, but not quite as fast as the Peggy Sue. <laughs> if you guys if you guys ended up missing the first part of the mod review, you really should check it out. You should see how Skitscape was going absolutely ape on the on the pigs. They they never stop running, so they go so fast and they're just they're wicked funny to watch. But anyways, moving on here. Oh, and by the way, sheeps are crafted with uh or every one of these are crafted with a saddle in the middle, so just keep that in mind. But uh the sheep is crafted with just uh, white wool all around it. So yeah, and the next one that I'm going to show you guys, it would be really funny if this was implemented as an actual mob. And this one uh, is crafted with cookies around it, but this is the notch mob. And it operates a little bit like a slime, it just looks like a notch head. Except uh, they added the hat this time instead of him being completely bald. Uh, what happens is, if I run around here, let me just uh, run around for a little bit and you'll see what will happen. Oh crap, there we go. I'm kind of just waiting here because uh, what Notch is supposed to do is he's actually supposed to give you cookies as you as you uh, run around. And he doesn't like to give you a whole lot of cookies as is described on the forum thread. But he does give you like a little bit. Let me try going up hills here and stuff. Uh, come on, Notch. You can do it. You can do it, Notch. You can do it. Come on. Give me a cookie. Come on. I know you can do it. You know what? Well, screw you too. Actually, I need to get myself a diamond uh, a diamond sword for what I'm about to do here. Because he takes so many hits. And if you hit him, then Notch is going to try and eat you. So if you've ever wanted to know what, Notch is, what Notch looks like when he tries to eat you, this is it. But unfortunately, his hat blocks him from doing it a little bit. Like, he has to kind of get the upper hand on you in order to really be able to get a good shot off on you. So let me see if I can show that here. Hmm. Come on, Notch. Eat me! Eat me! <laughs> well, he doesn't want to eat me today. But uh, I think you guys just saw just a minute ago, there was a cookie on the ground, but there no longer is. I think that's I think that stupid, dumb Notch bike ended up eating it. Nothing against you, Notch, but everything against that Notch bike. But anyways, moving on here. The next one that I'm going to show you is the Creeper. And this one. Wow. Yeah, this one. <laughs> Did you ever think you were going to see a sheep creeper clone or a pig creeper clone or something like that? I don't know, but it's crafted by putting TNT around a saddle. And what these ones do is uh, they'll explode nearly when they're dead. They have a 20% chance of summoning a charged creeper, which has a huge explosion. So let me uh, let me do this a whole bunch. Let me see if I can get a charged one. I'm not sure what a charged one looks like if it does. Ah, there we go. Oh my god. <laughs> and if you want if you want these things to be able to destroy land you need to change something in um, the configuration file for this mod again the information for that is going to be in the description which i actually have done in this and uh yeah they'll they have uh, chances to be spawned in different colors just like just about every other mod or every other mob so yeah let's just run around here you know just as you would normally expect with the animal bike and run around at a decent pace but yeah when it gets close to dead it will explode so let me try and kill this here hmm ah crap let me do that one more time ah nice and that one spawned right away so let me do one two three. Oh crap no i didn't want to do three shots i didn't mean to i'm sorry i didn't mean it that was a failure on my part there we go okay one two and then punch it with my fist Wow. <laughs> Amazing. 
So I guess if you end up taking a lot of fall damage, if at all possible with these things, then that can be a factor to think about as well. So the next one that I'm going to show you guys is the Enderman. Oh, that's so disturbing. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to look anything like that because I hadn't actually taken a look at what these looked like prior. Um, I've just sort of been reading up on what they do. Like with the Enderman, it'll teleport with the space bar. It can step one block high. It'll only teleport every five seconds, so you can't just like spam click, you know, a whole ton. And it'll always teleport like in front of you with like a 24 block range, and it'll go a maximum of 15 blocks up. So no, you can't scale an entire mountain in the process. Uh, and it can't teleport while in water, and naturally it'll get hurt while it's in water as well. So let's teleport around here. So like I said, it can only do it every 5 seconds or so. But I think maybe this hill right here is going to be a good example as to what to show next. Alright, so let's head up to the hill here and... Hmm. Let's try and teleport to like that block right up there. Hmm. Didn't quite work, so... Yeah, there are quite a few limitations, but it can wa walk up one block hill, so you don't need to worry about jumping or anything like that. So it really does become easy enough anyways, and if I want to kill the Enderman... Wow, you take a lot of hits. Let me give you some help with that. Oh, okay, so you're already dead. Man, those Endermen, oh, they make such creepy noises. Wouldn't it have been awesome, though, if those noises were implemented right from the very beginning of 1.8? Just... Wow, like it, it sucks that it took them that long in order to get sounds in for them, but yeah, it is really amazing. So anyways, moving on here, the next one that I'm going to show you guys are, well this one's going to be for you My Little Pony fans out there. Now I'm personally not one, but however, I thought it would be interesting to show off considering that it is in the mod, so yeah. Uh, the pony sets, there are a total of 52 of them, so have fun trying to look at all of them because yeah, there's just... There are a ton of them. There, there are an absolute ton of them. Uh, there are three different kinds. Uh, if a ground pony walks over dirt, it, it'll turn uh, dirt into grass. And um, no, let me rephrase that. Wow, that was a total failure in speech. And it's turning, it's turning night. It's there we go. No, if it walks over grass, it'll have a random chance of turning the grass, or you know, putting a flower on top of the grass where it walks. Uh, when a when a unicorn pony spawns, it'll uh, it'll walk with like a rainbow type glitter. And the Pegasus ponies can fly, um, and it can be disabled in the uh, in the configuration file. So like this one, if I hold the space bar, because it's a unicorn one, because it has little wings on the side, then it will fly around, and it'll be all amazing. Now, I think I'm all done with these. Actually, no, I do need to display the other ones as well. So this one, not really too sure exactly what they do. Like this one clearly doesn't have the glitter to it, so I would assume that this one will spawn flowers at random as I walk around. Though I kind of have to look behind me as I'm doing it, you know, sort of like this. I'm not really too sure, but yeah. Hmm. 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 Yeah. Okay, moving on here. And the unicorn ones, as I, uh, as I said before, it'll have like this sort of glitter thing as it walks. And you can kind of see it, though you kind of can't. Hmm. Yeah, see, there you go. You can kind of see it right there. Um, run, little pony. Run! Ah, it doesn't show it at all. That kind of stinks. Let's make that one go away. Now, the last one that I'm going to show you guys is, I'm sure, the one you have all been waiting for because it's actually listed in the title of the video, and that is the Ender Dragon. Now, I want to go up front and saying right now that the Ender Dragon cannot destroy land in the same way that an Ender Dragon could if it were to spawn on the mainland. Though it would be cool if that was added as, like, some sort of configuration thing, because it's not. But the, the one thing that it does add for configuration... Oh, and by the way, the properties of the Ender Dragon, if uh, you guys are curious, is that it's the end stone with a saddle in the middle. So as you can see, these ones can fly, and this one, this can be disabled uh, in the configuration file if you want, though I don't see why you would ever want to disable this. Um, it can be spawned in different colors, so this one's got like a purplish hue to it, but if I go ahead and I get rid of this one here. Yeah, so see, so this one's got like a green hue, so this one's, this one would be like ninja in like a forest or something like that. It can go up by pressing the space bar, it can go down by holding the, the left shift, uh, it'll breathe fire when you right click on it with flint and steel, which is always there, but it can al also burn the terrain as well, um, it, uh, with a little configuration option in the configuration file. So, that cow is dead, and you guys want the cow killing montage, well I'm gonna try and work on it for my 100,000 subscriber special, um, and naturally if I'm already there and the video might already be out be sure to look around my channel for that though obviously like if, the, if you're watching this when the video first comes out then it's not going to be there but cow you need to die <laughs> wait where'd the cow go ah there he is there he is die cow 
Oh, there are more cows over there. This is gonna be amazing. This is gonna be amazing. This is gonna be amazing. All right, let's let's annihilate these cows over here. You know what, cows? I don't like what you're doing. I don't like the way you're just prancing around. And unfortunately, I can't right-click and do and look at them directly. But if I, I have to sort of be at like a downward angle to them. But you know what? It doesn't matter because they're all gonna die. They're all gonna die. All the stupid cows. All the stupid cows. All the stupid cows. <laughs> Let's go on a let's go on an animal killing rampage. <laughs> nah, I'm just messing with you. But uh, something to note as well, even though when you're actually sitting in like the driver's seat, uh, it doesn't really look like these things move too fluently. But with how rapidly you can turn with them, they do move quite fluidly. Like you know, they do have the proper turn to them. All their little bones turn the way they would supposed to. It's just that if you turn really fast, you get this sort of like jerky movement. But that's something that is to be expected as well. Now I'm going to set this town on fire because these testificates are stupid. I can't wait until they get updated to not be so stupid. Testificates, you so stupid. You so stupid. You let me burn your town. <laughs> My name is Deathwing. Yeah. Um, that is going to be a reference that not many people are going to know. Oh yeah, and once your flint and steel runs out, um, you can't you can't set the town on fire anymore. So I'm just gonna use my other flint and, flint and steel here. We're gonna set the rest of this town on fire. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this particular mod review. And like I said, if you ended up missing part one of it, be sure to check the link in the description as well. With any information you might be looking for with this mod, um, be sure to check the link in the description as as well because everything you're gonna need to know is going to be there. So anyways, guys, I hope you all have enjoyed this uh, particular mod review, and sorry about getting the whole pony thing messed up, because there's actually a lot more than what I ended up reading on. Like, I just, I just, I just, I, do, I just done goofed. So yeah, I know you'll all forgive me though. But anyways, I hope, we all, I hope you all have enjoyed this mod review. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.